Hi, it's me. Um, I should be asleep, but I really wanted to do this <laughs> before I didn't have time to do it. Not that I really have the time right now, but I want to explain more about what I'm doing. Um, I got an email from someone who I sent a letter to who felt really unsure of what it was all about. She felt like um, she didn't really know much about it, so I'm glad that she emailed me. Um, you know, there's only so much that you can put in a one-page little letter. Um, so basically, I'm going to be in Yellowstone from uh, May 30th to August 8th, I think. Or 9th, I can never remember which one. Um, and I'll, we'll, the first week we'll have like a, an orientation kind of thing in Bozeman. I think it's Bozeman, 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 probably Bozeman. It's only one O. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. So, um, in Bozeman, Montana, um, near Montana State University at a camp. After that, we'll um, go to where we're staying in the park, which is like dorm style housing where all the employees um, with Yellowstone stay. And I've applied for my job. I'll most likely be doing housekeeping because that's the one job that we can have the, for sure have the evenings open, which is important because then we'll be doing like our Bible studies and um, everything, all the activities and stuff that we'll be doing will be in the evening. Um, and so we'll like, um, the ministry things that we'll be doing, which is geared towards our coworkers, um, who are going to be from my understanding, mostly international, um, people. So it's kind of like, it's an international mission trip in the United States, um, which is kind of cool to think about. Um, especially with people from all over the place, so, I mean, um, which is really similar to, like, to New York Summer Project, I, um, the idea of nationally international. Um, we'll be employed by the park that does all the, um, or by the company that does all the stuff for the park, Zantara. Um, we, there is a website, yellowstonesummerproject.com, that you can find out more information on. Um, so basically, um, the cost of it, I wrote my letters that it would cost me about $2,900. Um, that's not, um, an amount that Campus Crusade said I need to raise. That is my goal, personally. Um, the actual cost of the project, which is, like, the activities, the debriefing thing, orientation at the camp, um, and stuff, that costs about sixteen seventy five. dollars I'm sorry, I'm tired, I'm not exactly right on the information, or not on the information, but on the exact amounts. I should be, if I'm making this, um, but, so it's about that, and then to stay in the employee housing is $70 a week, so that comes to almost 700 and then a plane ticket, um, is about, I've been looking at there, about 500 so with all that estimated together, it's about 2900 um, it might not be that much, um, if I end up riding with someone who um, is from my area who's going there also, which I won't be able to find out for a couple of weeks, um, then it would obviously be less for the transportation. I'm only required to raise um, the amount for the actual project, not including housing or transportation, but ideally you would want to raise all of that so that um, the money you make there while, because I, I will have a job, a full-time job on there, so that that money will actually... Um, I'll actually make money. <laughs> so, um, that's the goal of it, um, of the raising, why there's that set amount. It's probably different for different people, depending on where they're coming from, um, di different airports and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then another concern that she had was, um, checks being made out to Campus Crusade for Christ instead of to the person, um, that just seemed kind of weird to her, um, a little sketchy, and I told her, it's like, you know, to have, um, um, people give me support and mail it to me, and then me have to cash those checks and put them in my bank account, and then write a check to Campus Crusade, that leaves room for financial irresponsibility, not that I would do that, don't get me wrong, um, but, you know, if I didn't end up raising enough and I couldn't go on the trip or something and I had to return all of it, um, it would become more complicated with that, or, um, just, it, it just, it makes, it just kind of skips a step, and 
that way that we don't have to handle the money, um, which could make for error and just lots of yucky things. Um, and also, if you're interested in having it be a tax deduction, the only way that could be is if you wrote it to Campus Crusade. They're not going to bombard you with, like, you know, ooh, you help this person now, but you help us. Um, each person who does something with Campus Crusade has to raise their support individually. Even the staff members do. And, um... So it's not like the organization as a whole will, they won't solicit the people who um, make contributions to um, um, what diff specific people are doing. Um, and I understand why she's concerned about that. Um, but however, um, it's not like that's the only way you can do it. If, like the fact is, um, transportation and housing technically go through me and the rest of the money goes through Campus Crusade so it's kind of like if I make more than that initial um, we'll just say 1700 for sake of less numbers but I make it past that 1700 the rest of it although it's given to crew um, or filtered through them I guess um, the rest of it will be refunded to me and kind of replace my money that's gone into it um, like I'll have to buy my plane ticket before the trip and then I would turn that documentation to them, and then I'd be reimbursed. So it, it would be going to be, so in a sense, you can get checks to yourself. Um, but it just, it makes it um, more secure um, going through them. So those are just kind of a couple of her concerns. Um, I know, I'm just, I'm getting nervous. That just made me really nervous about it. I, I, um got support from several people, which was encouraging at first, and then I was like, I filled out on the ministry dashboard thing, where you can, um, go on, and, uh, there's a website to help you keep track of things, to say, okay, you fill out the names of people you sent letters to, and, um, what donations you received, so it tells you how much, um, how much progress you've made. Um, about 3%. <laughs> and I was just like, wow, that's only 3%. Um, which I'm so thankful I got those donations, but it just, it makes you realize how much, you know, you're really doing. Um, cause, I mean, just a poor college student, you know, $3,000, we'll round it up, $3,000 is a good chunk of change, and I'm just like, that's 97% that, um, left to go, so it's, I mean, I, I just, I mailed my letters a week ago from... Day. Well, Susan's Wednesday, technically, no, yesterday. Um, and I got technically f four and a half responses. Um, so, um, it's just as a process, it's waiting. Um, waiting, which I'm not gonna have. <laughs> yeah, I'm really tired, but so I just wanted to kind of answer a couple of those questions. Um, in the scattered and brained tired state I am. Um, so that's generally more of a bigger gist of how it works. Um, I might repost this as a more concise this later on. If you have any questions about it, those of you who are watching this who um, know me, um, you have my email. And I, like I said, it's yellowstonesummerproject.com, which answers some questions. It's a new website, so um, it doesn't answer everything. But um, feel free to contact me and ask me. I'm sure I missed something. Um, I wouldn't send you um, a letter if um, this wasn't important to me or if... Um, I didn't need the support of the people around me, I do, um, <laughs> and just even encouragement wise, it's, it's nice to know that, you know, the people that you know and care about, care about what you're doing, um, it's really important, um, especially, the, this is something I've never done before, completely new for me, so I'm just, I'm taking a huge leap of faith, and, you know, <laughs> I don't want to think I'm crazy for doing it, I'm not, I'm, um, so, you know, it's important, even the verbal encouragement, I've gotten 
a couple of really nice notes. Um, 